this tissue associated with the digestive system as our salivary gland tissues. Here's uh, a portion of the gland here, here's another portion of the gland here. We see a connective tissue here, we see a blood vessel, uh, a vein, an artery uh, uh, are all a part of the uh, connective tissue associated with an organ and this salivary gland organ has two different functional gland cells and uh, the lighter colored cell is a mucus producing cell and if we go down and take a close look uh, it's associated with a uh, usually has a flat nucleus on the side of the cell and the cell is, uh, has whitish vacuoles in it. The dark cells have usually an oval uh, nucleus and they are a serous producing cells. In addition to the glands there must be ducts to conduct the saliva to the oral cavity and if we look we'll see if we can find a smaller duct duct they're usually a lighter in color and uh, go down to higher power and uh, there's some small ducts if we look at a small duct they usually have cube shaped cells so here's stratified cuboidal epithelium making a small duct and then we'll uh, scan back see if we can find a larger duct and uh, one of the larger ducts uh, are usually lined with a, a columnar type epithelium and uh, we'll take a look at this duct here and uh, higher power see if the cell type is more like a columnar cell and indeed it is if you look here these cells are taller than they are wide so this would be the columnar cells of a large salivary gland duct.